It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Robinson's Brewery and it's a bottle of their Kettlehead Chock Stout coming in at 4.5% ABV in a 500ml bottle. There's the Robinson's bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get the beer out, or this beer out, into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle. Oh, look at that smoke. Wow. Beer in the glass then. As I'm always... Well, let's get the description first of the beer. And then we'll talk about where I found it and how much I paid for it. Uh, it's a two-finger tan coloured head, jet black beer in the glass. There's a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass, you can see it there. Like a, it's probably a really dark mild, a really, really dark mild. Pushing, well, yeah, it's stout. Let's be honest, it's stout looking. Um, carbonation, slow moving, nice head. Let's get the aroma. Mm. It, it, it has the aroma of a really good mild. Lots of like hedgerow fruits coming through. It's tart. It's jammy. It's plum and fig and prune. The malts are coming through really well. Oh, um. I'm quite excited by this. Let's dive in. Cheers. Interesting. Really, really interesting beer. It's got a chocolatey, velvety, silky kind of smooth mouthfeel. And I think that's where I'm going to go with the, the choc, the chocolate kind of silky smooth mouthfeel. We've all seen the, the chocolate adverts on the telly. They all talk about silkiness and how smooth and creamy the chocolate is. I'm going to go down that road with this beer. It's got a lovely mouthfeel. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. There's a touch of vanilla. The, the fig and the plum and the prune is coming through. There's a longing bitterness. There's like this bitterness that just keeps going and going and going and going. And I think that's down to the fact that there's quite a lot of roasted malt in the in the brew, in the in the brewing process of the beer. And of course they they've added some hops to the beer, maybe some kind of traditional British hops. So so the roasted malt of course gives some bitterness on the hops uh, on the beer, and so does the hops. So I I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to take a wild swing as to why, and I'll, I'll reveal it now, I paid £1 for this beer in 2019 in a shop called Home Bargains in the UK. It's one of them national branded stores, a, a cheap and cheerful store you go to to find your bread bargains, your milk and your, your sweets and your crisps and, and whatever else. You look, you know, you're looking for. Everyone likes a bag. Tell me one person that don't like a bargain. I like a bargain. Hence, I found this beer. Yeah, I paid a pound for it, and I reckon I can. I, I can understand as to why this beer didn't do as well as maybe they would have hoped, and that's the bitterness. There's 
just this it's not an astringent bitterness it's not a bitterness that just wants to kind of like it's not over it's not too much the bitterness but but it's long lasting for a beer lover like me then that's fine i like that kind of longing 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 bitterness traditional british hop bitterness mixed with that kind of roasted malt bitterness that just keeps hammering your palate Whoa. pardon me but there's going to be a, a a certain amount of people who go that's too bitter for me i don't like it and i think that's the reason why the beer ended up in home bargains that's just a guess i might be completely wrong but I'm just looking for real, for because it's a, for me it's a it's a pretty decent beer for a pound. It's a pretty it would be a pretty decent beer for one pound fifty. I'm just looking for reasons as to why the beer ended up in home bargains. There's always a reason. Lovely body, lovely lovely body nice tartness nice kind of plum and fig and prune and then we're on to that bitterness that roasted malt that chocolate that coffee that caramel from the roasted malts and then a more very kind of traditional british hop finish i i like this i like this if i seen that in a pub on cask oh we have more beer if i seen that on a in a pub on cask I'd have a couple of pints of that, no problem at all. It, it's it's decent, it's unoffensive, it would probably be cheap. Yeah, a decent beer from Robinson's, and for a pound, even more decent. What do they say about this beer then? Dark, mysterious, ebony coloured stout with a distinct aroma of roasted chocolate and malt. It's rich, full bodied, and deeply satisfying with roasted coffee and peppery hops, which leave a robust after bitterness so they're talking about the bitterness balanced by a hint of sweetness there we go robinson's brewery they're famous for their old tom strong ale uh they're probably more famous now for their trooper beer which came out about seven years ago i think uh, maybe six seven years ago something like that uh what else? And they, they, I think they do. They do a, an ale. There's a Robinson's Unicorn. Robinson's Unicorn Bitter. Um, I think that's massive round the round the Manchester area. Yeah, it, it's nice for a pound. It's even nicer. Let's rate it. I'm going to factor in, I'm going to say it one more time, and I promise I won't say it anymore because I'm going to end the review. I'm going to factor in the fact that I paid £1 for this beer, and I'm going to factor in how much I enjoyed it for £1. You don't get much for a pound these days. I like this beer enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!